what's popping guys and welcome back to the final episode of the clicker game tutorial series today you might notice i don't have my camera on that's because i feel like for tutorials and stuff i don't really need a camera on during a tutorial because you're focusing on what's on the screen so let's hop right into it so this is the final episode where i'm going to be covering saving i feel like i've covered everything else uh pretty well to the point where you could build off of this as much as you like so today i'm going to integrate saving now you might be wondering how i'm going to be doing this and what i'm going to say is that um, I have a tutorial on a saving system, the exact same saving system I'm going to be using in this video. So I'm not going to be building the saving system in this video. I'm going to be explaining what it does. If you want the tutorial for the origin for the <laughs> saving system that I'm going to be using in this video, I will put it in the link in the description, top link, or it should be top link. I don't know. It'll be in there. I'll label it. Uh, and you can go watch that video and build it step by step. But if you're just looking to integrate it in here, you can just take a look at what I have on screen and it should work generally the same. Although I highly, highly recommend you go and watch the video since it'll help you a lot more in the long run. So I have it in my backpack. So I'm just going to drag it out. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff here. This is some, what is it? Uh, modified griff patch uh, encoding code, encoding and decoding code that was modified into becoming a saving system. It's pretty cool. So you see we have a load data, a save data, a value read from encoded, a begin to decode and the encoded and write values to encoded. So uh, it might look a little bit confusing, but there's nothing to worry about. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this info since this is for the project that I used it on. Um, yeah, okay. I'll just leave it like this for now. So the things I have to save in this project are our money, right? I have to save our money. I have to save our CPS, our CPS cost, our big clicks cost. Um, what else? What else do we got to save here? Our money per click. And that's about it. Some of these other things are from what I just imported. So don't worry about not having all of these. Um, just the ones that you have are the ones that you should have and the variables that you create when making this are all you should have. These are because I used them in the tutorial. That's the only reason I have them. Do not worry about it. So we got some stuff to save. How do we go about saving? Well, let's just run through here in the save data and just do what we need to do. So everything that is written to encoded will be saved. So what we can do right off the bat is we can just write money to encode it. Write our money to encode it. Duplicate this and write our money per click to encode it. Write our CPS to encode it. Write our CPS cost to encode it. And set our big clicks cost to encode it. And that will automatically write and encode all of those values. So if you had more, you just keep writing these new things. And you can slam this right underneath if you did it in a list which you can save too right here here's an a, an example of me saving a list the length of the list it'll write the number set this number to one and then it'll keep changing it and keep writing that number over and over and over until the length is over i don't have any um list to do and again i explained this list thing much more in detail inside the saving tutorial so i'm going to take that out and you're going to end with a write tilde to encode it tilde just because it's not used in anything else if you use a tilde in something of your numbers you're going to want to switch this to a symbol that is never used i just think the tilde the little squiggly line is never used and then all of this stays the same and then boom this will write everything that we need and by the way this is just an empty slot so what is this doing when it writes? So when it writes, what it does is it takes, it sets a variable called letter number to one, and then it repeats the length of value. So what is value? It's this little pink bubble, but what is that pink bubble? Well, it's whatever we put here. So money. So let's say our money is at, let, let's say our money's at 10. Okay. Our money is at 10. I'm also just going to call this saving. Okay, so this is 10. So this, this pink bubble equals 10. I mean, you can't see it right now, but it equals 10 because that's what money is and money is in its slot. Okay. So it'll set letter number to one, repeat the length of value or money. And the length of it is two since there are two uh, numbers in that money variable. And again, if it was, if it was, if it was like 116, it'd be three. If it was in the thousands, it'd have four, so on, so on, so on. You get it. So what it does is it sets encoded 
which when it starts is empty which regardless even if it was something it automatically replace it with encoded which should be nothing usually okay it starts at nothing okay item number of letter letter number of value in code so what is code if we look at code we'll see it's an empty variable right there's nothing in it which is an issue because we are going to need it to be something so if you follow the tutorial which you definitely should have done if you have it please go do it you'll know that we do actually put something in here i'm going on my second monitor and i'm going into the project and i'm going to grab what we what we toss in here so i'm just going to export it okay so i and then you and then i exported the txt i'm going to import the txt and then here here's what it is it's 49 lists characters long nine empty slots and then on 10 it starts with a b c d e f g goes all the way down to z and then does the numbers and then some basic symbols and then that tilde or whatever you're using i just recommend using tilde because i doubt you're going to use it make sure that's the last one that's all that you need to know and this is a space by the way but again go follow the tutorial it's it goes much more in depth so all it does is it joins that item so item number of letter so a letter number is one okay one and value is 10 right so letter one of value which is one right because the first integer is a one in code so what is the item number of code okay so one in code so item number of so one is all the way down here at 36 so it would write the number 36 it said encoded to 36 right off the bat right set it to 36 change that letter number by one and then it do it again when it does it again since it's repeating the length of which is only two so it would repeat two times is really what this is saying right here see look it even has it as 10 <laughs> then it do it again it set encoded to join encoded keep in mind encoded is already 36 so it'd keep it 36 it set encoded to encoded so 36 and then item two which is two which is zero and zero is 45 so it'd be 36 45 and then it set that encoded and then at the end it join it and it add a zero zero to it why does that zero zero it does double zeros because you will never have this occurrence show up anywhere and that is a promise i promise you you will never have this show up as a double zero because there's nowhere in this string that has double zeros Right? None of these numbers are double zeros. So you do not have to worry about it. Just buy this double zero. It'll use it just for splitting up each thing that you need to split up. Okay. So that's all you really need to know right there. We save everything just like that. How it's supposed to do. It does it every single time and just puts a zero in between each of these. And then writes that at the end to finish it off. And then it'll put it in save data and it'll show the save code. Right. It just show it. So if you want, you can kind of stretch this out. Right to where it's supposed to be right and just like that just like that okay so right off the bat let's let's hide everything except money because we were showing money anyways right money let's start our game let's see what happens when we when we get to let's say we get to 25 money right and we actually need a way to save right so let's just say we have it with an s key right you could make a whole button for the saving button if you want to i'm just gonna do something basic so when key s is pressed we will broadcast save and then in saving when i receive save we will do save data okay so let's get to 25 again and we're gonna press s and boom here's our code pretty big huh indeed so all you got to do is double click this or you'll triple click it if you want to put like another thing in there that says triple click triple click it'll select the whole thing control c and now we have this code on our clipboard right that's another thing you could do you could have it hide that save code just in case they do that okay cool now the loading system is pretty easy okay What's your save code is what it'll ask. You'll put it, you'll you'll just copy and paste that code you got. And then it'll begin to decode save data. And beginning to code. A set encoded to encoded, which is whatever it happens to be, which would be your answer, your save code. Right? It'll just decode your code. 
and set the letter to 1. Then value equals read from encoded. In value equals read from encoded, this is an empty slot. I'll set value. IDX is joined all this. Basically what this does right here is it finds the first letter. It finds your first number and figures out what it is, right? So let's say it picked its first number, which would be whatever it'd be, and then set the value to that and find it in code and then just convert it back to the original thing that you had because we convert all letters and numbers into a special number and then this system just reconverts it backwards into what it was before. And then right after it reads a value, you'll have to set it. So we'll set, because the first thing that we save, you have to do it in order. So the first thing listed in the save data is money. So you'll set money to value. Then the next one we do is monies per click, right? So we put monies per click in there. Then it's CPS. So let's put CPS. Then it's CPS cost. Slam that in there. We got to need another one, so we'll just duplicate it like this. And then big clicks costs, just like that. And then this is again if you're using lists, which we're not using lists, so we don't even have to uh, worry about it. So we can just go ahead and move that. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, I will add one of these, obviously, for loading. I'll just make it like an L. If you press the L key, it'll broadcast load. And then in saving, when I receive load, it will run load data. So we have that. Let's press this. Let's press L. Ask what's the save code. Let's input that code that we got. Boom. And it sets our money to 25. Exactly what we had it at. So let's say we get up and clicks per second. Let's get up to 50 so we get a click per second. Just as a little test. Okay. Let's actually do a little bit. Right. So now cost. Are we not subtracting money? Hold up. Did we, did we not set this up right? Hold up. Oh, this needs to be CPS cost. I can't believe I didn't do that in the video. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wow, I'm an idiot. I'm really dumb. Wow, okay. <laughs> can't believe I made that crucial of a mistake and no one called me out for it. Well, whatever. It's fixed now. There we go. That's that's more like it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we have a click per second. You see, it's going up. Let's press save. It does it for us. Triple click. Control C. Start new. When we hit L, put in save code. Implement it. Look, it's going up because it saved our clicks per second. And then it continues to do it. Pretty neat, pretty good saving system. Again, if you want to know how exactly that was coded, I will leave a link in the description to the original saving system tutorial video to go and watch and do there. Thank you all so much for watching this series. If you liked it, like it, didn't like it, like it anyways, because all good in the neighborhood. While you're at it, I want to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, that helped me a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>